So, very quick video. This is just me getting this tab off from underneath, getting ready to install the Matrim uh, FSU unit in this uh, sending unit. So basically you just want to pry this tab off right here. Okay, so once you get this tab off, you don't really care if you damage anything, so you're just trying to get, you know, you just get in there and get brutal with it, pry it off of there. And then, that what that allows is the bulkhead fitting, the original one, with, to come out. Okay, the next step is, you, in the previous one, we, we pried the tab off and pulled the bulkhead fitting out. What you'll notice is there's two little tabs, one here and one there. Take a small round file and file those tabs until you have a round hole. All right, the next thing is gonna be getting the original wiper and sending unit off of there. So you'll have the ground, which is right there. You just unplug it. You may need a pair of pliers or something. Those things got the little tabs on them. They're very difficult to get off sometimes. I had already done it. Uh, the next thing is on the wiper board. It's riveted and you're gonna take a large I don't know, 3 h drill bit or something just big enough to drill both of those rivets out of there. And that's it. Everything will remove at that point. Okay, so we've drilled the rivets out here and all of the electrical basically comes off at that point. I just cut the wire, pulled it out because otherwise it was zip tied. You could cut the zip tie if for some reason you wanted to save that original electronics. But I just cut the wire, pulled everything off. Now the next step is, when, when you get uh, the Metrum, it's, it's going to have uh, the wire loom and two pieces of heat shrink. Remove that, and uh, it's going to come without the terminal installed, that, so, um, so that you can install that later. Um, so, the most important step here is, when you install the Metrum into the bulk, the original fuel tank sending unit, it's going to interfere with the vent tube right here. So we're going to cut that short so that it's about, I don't know, maybe inch and a half or so, right, right about in here somewhere. That, that'll give that float plenty of room to come up. And then if it still hits, we can just sort of bend that over a little bit and tweak it. So I'm going to move this sending unit real quick. Got my Makita here. Should be able to hopefully do this in the viewfinder. trying to do all this and keep it in the camera and everything but you get the idea you're just going to cut this off I'll finish that and um, show you the next step okay so I've got it cut off uh, if you notice there's going to be a, a hole right there on this large vent tube I try to keep the cut so that that still remains um, and then at any time you can also take this sock off and throw it in the trash if you're going to be running my uh, lift pump pre-filter kit. If you're not, then make sure you leave the sock on there. It provides some filtration before the fuel goes to the lift pump. Just as a note, these socks, when you get um, any new sending unit, they're actually not the correct sock. These are gasoline socks. So I recommend you trash them on all of them. Um, and the, the, even the diesel socks, they tend to get plugged up. It's a very common problem. So it's uh, recommended that all of them get removed and you put a pre-filter kit on the frame rail. I do sell those on the website. Check them out on the fuel delivery page. All right, the next step with the wire loom, the heat shrink, and the nut removed from the new Metrum sending unit, you're going to put the wires up through Fish them all the way through. 
so it pops through like that. You'll put the nut on. You'll have to put one at a time. Make sure it goes on the proper direction, the nut. And you see this is why I can't send... Oop, well, that happens now and then, too. The, the little cable seal will come off. If that does come off, you'll just have to uh, repair it. You just bend these tabs back, put that cable seal back in, and crimp them back down. So the next thing, we're going to fish that nut all the way down, thread it onto the sending unit, and it is a lock nut. So at this point, I'm going to get it as far as I can. So at this point, you'll need a 19 millimeter and a uh, or or a three quarter, 19 millimeter, three quarter, and then a 9 16 or a 14 millimeter. Uh, make sure you're backing up the Mitrum as you tighten up the 9 16 nut. Uh, you don't want to potentially be spinning uh, the bottom portion. Um, it, it would tear up the electronics. So make sure that you got uh, a wrench on the back side. I'll show you on the next step how that looks when it's installed. Okay, so now I've got the nut installed. You, you just just snug it. That's all it takes. You're just trying to seat the O-ring, which is on this side. It'll seal up against there and make sure this thing's nice and sealed. And the next thing you'll notice is you may potentially, this nylon tubing may be in the way. So I'm going to show you in the next step that with this removed. But uh, basically, you're going to want to rotate this over. Oops, get that in the viewfinder. Rotate that tubing over the old uh, weld tab for the old electronic wiper plate. That'll give you some slack where now you can rotate this around and get that out of the way. So now this can come up. But one last problem is it's still just in the way here. So the, to solve that, you remove this nylon tubing. We're going to take probably like a 9 16 wrench put it on there maybe a smaller wrench and just tweak and bend this thing over at an angle where that will go all the way up it'll actually be hitting the vent tube at that Porsche at that time but that that would be fine as long as it goes up it, it only has about half an inch or so worth of travel to go up so we're gonna bend this make that happen and I'll show you how that looks on the next one okay so I think this is gonna be the last little clip in this installation video uh, you'll see that now this uh, vinyl tubing nylon tubing is uh, slightly tweaked out of the way I just bent that over and that allows the float to travel all the way up until it hits the uh, vent tube right there that's really about as far as you can practically make that float go up so it will travel freely all the way up and down just like that the last thing to know is when you put, well, not when you put it in, but you'll, you'll put the wire loom back in, put the heat shrink on, heat shrink it up. The last thing to know is that when you plug your pins into the terminal, into the plastic terminal that will be supplied, it does not matter what side goes to where. So just put, it, just plug it in and then plug it into the truck. It's, it's non-polarity and it won't matter which one of these red or blue wires goes into either connector. So that's it. That's basically the whole installation. If I wasn't filming and having to take breaks, I could have done this in, I'm going to say, five minutes. Anyway, any questions, let me know. LeroyDiesel.com. Check, check it out on the fuel delivery page. Have a good one.